Looking at homework from section 5.3, this is question number 22. In a large section of a statistics class, the points for the final exam are normally distributed with a mean of 72 and a standard deviation of 9. Grades are assigned such that the top 10% receive A's, the next 20% receive B's, the middle 40% receive C's, the next 20% receive D's, and the bottom 10% receive F's. Find the lowest score on the final exam that would qualify a student for an A, a B, a C, and a D. So let's try to graph this situation because this is kind of complicated and a picture might help reveal what we need to do. So we've got our F's, D's, C's, B's, and A's. A's are on the high end, F's on the low end. And so I've put a few percentage values here. So from the lowest D going to the left, there's 10% of the area under the curve. From the lowest C value going to the left, there's 30%. The 20% for the Ds plus the 10% for the Fs. If you did another arrow at the lowest B, there would be 70% to the left. An arrow at the lowest A, there would be 90% to the left. But we really just need these two values on the left because we're going to be able to use a lot of facts about symmetry to help us. If 10% of the scores are less than the lowest D, then that leaves an area of 0 .100 to the left. And then 30% of the scores are less than the lowest C, which means that leaves an area of 0 .300 to the left. So we're going to be looking for those values, 0 .100 and 0 .300, on our standard normal distribution table. Once we find the Z scores for the lowest D and the lowest C, then we can find the Z scores for the lowest B and the lowest A using symmetry. Okay, so both of the areas that we talked about for the lowest D and the lowest C are on the left side of the table because they are less than 0.5. So for the lowest D, the area to the left is 0 0.1000. We look for that in the body of our table on the negative side. It's not in the table, but the closest value to it is 0 0.1003, which has a corresponding Z-score value of negative 1.28. For the lowest C, the area to the left is 0 0.3000. So we look for that in the body of the table. And again, that one's not in the table. The closest value to it is 0 0.3015. The z-score for 0 0.3015 is negative 0 0.52. So because of symmetry, we'll be able to get the values for the lowest B and the lowest A, and we'll present it in a table format. The lowest D we found had a z-score of negative 1.28. The lowest C was negative 0.52. Because of symmetry, the lowest B will be positive 0.52, and because of symmetry, the lowest A will be positive 1.28. So we'll turn to the x value formula, x equals mu plus z times sigma, and let's compute the lowest a. We're using that x value formula, so we'll insert the values that we know. Mu is 72, sigma is 9, and for the lowest a, the z score is 1.28. We multiply and add, and that gives us 83.52. For the lowest b, now the z score is 0.52. We multiply and add, and we get 76.68. For the lowest C, we insert the z-score of negative 0.52. We multiply and add, and our x value is 67.32. And then for the lowest D, we insert the z-score of negative 1.28. We multiply and add, and we get 60.48. The question asks to round up to the nearest integer. So not to round, but to round up. So we're going to go to the next highest value from each one of these. So for the lowest A, 83.52 would become 84. For the lowest B, 76.68 would be 77. For the lowest C, 67.32 would be 68. And for the lowest D, 60.48 would be 61. Those are your lowest scores. That's your answer.